be for this week. So just to talk you through this a little bit, uh, you will need to make a presentation about online safety. Now you can tell at the moment we've just done a, a phishing email task. It's all about online safety. We would have done this in your normal lessons. It's part of our curriculum anyway. Okay, so the presentation should be five slides long. Uh, the audience for the presentation should be new year seven to come into the school. Okay, so if you're in year, you know, so basically learning about what e safety is all about, uh, make sure it's aimed towards them, year seven. So think about how you do your presentation for your seven students, maybe a bit more colourful, maybe a few more images. Um, well, the year six at the moment, coming into year seven. Uh, check the instructions on the next slide about what you need to include in the presentation. There are links to useful websites on here as well. So uh, create your presentation, five slides. Uh, put the school logo on there and get off the website. It's just a copy and paste job on that one, quite simple. Uh, you can type into course from school logo onto Google and you can copy and paste an image across. Use the school colour scheme, which is like a light blue. You'll see it off the website. Uh, I'm not too worried if you don't do this, some of this. Uh, transition animations between slides. The first slide should be a title slide, so that'd be quite easy to do straight away. Remember, it's just the logo and the, the colour scheme that'll be on there. Slides two to five. Now, these are the things you got to uh, put information in about. And it, uh, it says make sure you have one or two suitable images on each slide. So a side bullying one. So give examples of what it is and what someone being bullied should do about it. Uh, passwords. What's a good password? What's a bad password? What are the rules for changing? Uh, uh, for choosing a good password. I'll give you little tips. Uh, obviously, you should have symbols, numbers. A capital letter, anything that's not obvious, like um, a pet name or something that's just not like your name in, in itself or an address or something like that. Don't have the word password. Um, online uh, strangers give rules about staying safe online, and social media give advice for staying safe on social media platforms. Okay, uh, so hand in your finished work on Teams assignment, like I just said. If you're having problems and I understand that this can happen on the assignments um, and it's not that easy for you to get to this assignment for whatever reason then you can always email me still that's perfectly fine um, I'm not good if if it gets posted up on here then don't worry about it I'll mark it anyway for that but I prefer you to put it through to the assignments on that uh, like I just said uh, this should be done in your normal ICT computer science lesson, so follow your timetable uh, that you should have on a normal day. Um, there are some useful resources here as well for you to look at, but also, what will also appear is this other PowerPoint, um, and this is a normal ICT lesson you would have had anyway. So this just goes through what we use internet for, what is safe to share online, uh, it goes through what we use it for, it goes through some of the uh, things that you should do using the internet safety. Now, this is what you've got to put into your presentation along these lines. Obviously, do your own research. I'm helping you out a little bit, but I need you to be independent as well to do your your things. Uh, but I will go through it a little bit. Um, obviously, if you, this is the big thing here. If you come across anything that you think is inappropriate from whoever, anywhere, a complete stranger, the first major thing that I'm just the main point to put across here is talk to your parents, tell someone about it, don't keep it to yourself, tell a teacher. Uh, be careful of anything that you think is just suspicious. If you think it's just a little bit suspicious and you think it's straight off, then it normally is. So don't um, open it. If it's an email, you've done your phishing email task now, delete it off. Uh, don't download any software without any permission. Never give out your password. Keep your personal uh, details private don't share anything across especially to strangers exactly what you would do in the real life it's just that it's on technology you wouldn't go up to someone on the street and give them out your personal details telephone numbers stuff like that don't do that online um, respect copyright use internet safely this is uh, one to really for a social media I know it says chat rooms which is a social media use a nickname talk to your parents if there's anything suspicious don't meet up with anyone uh, real life on your own. Don't want to meet up with anyone particularly at all um, off the internet. Don't send photos to anyone. Don't open, open attachments for people you don't know. Uh, don't give out contact details. I know some of you might be saying this is common sense stuff, 
but it, we are by law and the government uh, enforced to tell you about this stuff as well um, because obviously it's in our curriculum and it's an important thing still to know about and then uh, some help for your cyberbullying slide remember you don't have to do one um, slide about this a bit of information don't have to put in a huge amount what is cyberbullying uh, just a quick thing about this is obviously um, in real life you can get um, people taunting or teasing or saying stuff it's, the cyberbullying is just uh, slightly different in that it's on it's technology um, and it's on the internet um, it's exactly the same uh, if someone's being nasty to you in real life it's exactly the same uh, people should act, act nicely really um, and it's not always the case uh, online so if you're getting a nasty text message inappropriate emails prank calls anything like that and then the key thing for this again is uh, and this is number one uh, is to always tell someone okay you don't want the world to, uh, tell someone don't suffer in silence and here's some other things don't give out your contact details don't send photos to anyone don't respond back if you respond back you're just giving in to whatever these bullies want to do so don't even react to it tell someone straight away an adult or teacher and I've had so many uh, things uh, you know in the past where a student says oh, if I tell if I tell someone it gets worse it's completely not that it's actually completely the opposite it always always gets sorted out really quickly so tell someone about it tell head of house tell t uh, your tutor to anyone uh, any teacher adult uh, if there's a problem use a few email address keep passwords a secret treat others and this is a nice one to finish off with this treat others with respect and exactly uh, the same that you expect to be treated yourself um, expect them to do the same okay well I hope that's helped you out a little bit uh, just uh, obviously uh, there's two powerpoints to look at these go over the details exactly what you should do I hope that's clear uh, title screen and then four slides about these uh, topics here hand it in through Teams assignment and uh, it should be done in your normal ICT computer science lesson if you have any queries then uh, contact uh, your you can contact your ICT teacher on me or Mr Fletcher you can email us or you can contact us through Teams um, and uh, yeah we'll get back to you on that so uh, good luck with it thank you very much for listening um, and have a good day thank you very much